In this video lesson I will show you how to show account history in MT4 Android and also MT5 Android version. First step, I will show you MT4 and then MT5 app, so let's start with the MT4 first. Open the MT4 on your smartphone and go to the accounts. If you open the MetaTrader 4 app on your smartphone and you cannot find the accounts tab, just click here in the upper left corner where the menu is and click manage accounts. From here you have a list of accounts that you have connected here to the MT4 Android app. The first account that is on the upper side is the one that is currently connected. And you will show and you will see the trading history for this account. If you want to change the account, just click on the second one and connect on it. If you have selected the account you want to see trading history, go below and click on the trading history tab, which is here. Click on it and you will see a new window. In the upper left corner you will see history for all symbols. And you have an empty history. This means for the time period that is currently selected, you do not have any closed trades on this account. To change that, you need to increase the period in which you had a trading activity. In the upper right corner, you have a calendar where you can select the time period. Currently, you have Currently, on this account, I have selected the last three months. So in the last three months, I have not traded anything. So it is an empty history. If you want to change to different to the day for the last week, for the last month, you can select that time period and you will see is there anything on it. Because I didn't have anything in the last three months, so I need to increase the time period that is more than three months. And I will select it just for the whole year and I will click done. Then I will get some of the results in that, in that time period. So since, just a minute, since 1st of October last year up to today, I have several trades open here. And you can see the profit in that period was minus 135 and the deposit was 139. So the balance is 3.46. If I change that time period for something else, for example, let's say to January this year, the profit deposit will in the balance will change. So you can see that the profit has been changed to 53 minus 53 dollars. So each time when you select the time period, the custom time period, you will get here the profit and balance in that time period. If you want to make some additional filters, for example, you can change this time period for certain symbol, maybe for example for the USD Japanese Yen. If that pair is traded, you will see only that symbol here in the account history. If you want to have EURUSD, you can see it here. If you have not traded that symbol, you will not anything here. For example, GBP New Zealand, oh, I have traded that. Let's see, New Zealand Japanese, yes, Australian Canadian dollar, yes. So I have traded almost all symbols. GBP Australian dollar, yeah, GBP New Zealand. GBP Japanese Yen. Yeah, I have traded all trading pairs from this list. Then you have another filter, and that is you can make the order here by the symbol, for example, like this. Okay, I will put all symbols here. Then I can select an order, you will see it. And then what you can see it is order, it is from the smallest lot size to the biggest lot size. It is by zero. 0 0.01 up to 0 0.05 then you can change that by opening time closing time and the profit now you have much more filters here which you can use where you can select by the symbol by the ordering and also the custom time period so this is for mt4 android app now i will switch to the mt5 so you can see what is the difference and how to see the MT5 Android account history. When you open an MT5 Android version, you will also list 
here all the accounts that are connected to and the first one in the list on the upper side is the one that is currently active so this account I can go and check the training history by clicking in the history tab which is below you can see it here it's visible and it is written history click on it and you will have here a menu where you can see all the orders that were traded on this account you can see that there is nothing to see but again you need to check the custom time period because the current time period selected is for today okay i'll put for example for the last three months and see is there any trading activity it is you can see it that in that custom period i had a profit of 476.15 dollars it was a minus so here are the symbols i have traded so if you want to make some kind of uh, filtering you can select between these two gbp new zealand and euro usd so you here you have a list of all trading symbols and those that were not traded they are not listed here then again you have here a possibility to filter and also order these trading activities by symbol ticket type volume open time close time and the profit if i click the profit and i click the profit again you will change from the most profitable to the least profitable and then you have an open option here which is written as orders which means you can see which orders was filled and which one was cancelled you can see this one gbp new zealand was cancelled it was a pending order which is a buy limit so these orders that were filled that means they were open and closed on the market the one that were cancelled were not open but they were just placed on the trading platform and there is a deals where you can see here is the sell buy sell buy and so on and so on so this means when you sell something you buy out and with this profit or loss so you hear this the trading activity for the mt5 android version app so if you want to check it trading history just click on the history tab below where the menu is that is all if you have any questions feel free to leave the comment and if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and happy trading.